Saint Bernadette was born January 7, 1844, and died April 16, 1879. She was beatified in 1925 and canonized by Pope Pius XI in December 1933. St. Bernadette is often depicted in prayer with a rosary or appealing to the Holy Virgin. At 14 years old, Bernadette was at a grotto when she received a vision of a woman who wore blue and white and carried a rosary of ivory and gold. Bernadette dropped to her knees and began to pray with her own rosary at the site. During another vision at the same location, the woman asked Bernadette to return each day for two weeks. During one of her visits, the visitor told her to drink of the water of the spring, to wash in the water, and to eat the herb that grew there in an act of penance. Bernadette did so, and the next day the grotto's muddy waters were replaced with clear, fresh, flowing water. On one visit, Bernadette was told to build a chapel, and on another, she asked the vision four times to reveal herself before the smiling woman admitted she was the Immaculate Conception. Church authorities and the French government later confirmed that Bernadette spoke the truth, and since the spring first began to produce clear water, there have been 69 confirmed incidents of healing. Bernadette honored the Virgin's request for a chapel and following the miracles and construction of it, Bernadette removed herself from the public eye. One once asked Bernadette if she suffered temptations of pride for being favored by the Blessed Mother, to which Bernadette quickly responded, How can I? The Blessed Virgin chose me only because I was the most ignorant. After a time, she was diagnosed with tuberculosis and suffered extreme pain until she died at the age of 35. She passed away while praying, and her last words were, Blessed Mary, Mother of God, pray for me, a poor sinner, a poor sinner. Here are some lessons I have learned from the story of St. Bernadette. Have courage. At the young age of 14, Bernadette had the courage to share her experience. Be obedient. Despite becoming a public spectacle, she followed the instructions of our Blessed Mother throughout the period of the apparitions. Be humble. She never made the apparitions about herself. She simply did as she was asked and gave precise accounts of her experiences. Have faith. Bernadette held on to the words spoken to her by the Blessed Mother. I cannot promise to make you happy in this world, but in the next. She lived her life in complete abandonment to the Lord. Ladies of St. Bernadette, the green house, the blessed house, the best house. Revelation chapter 4 verse 3 says, A rainbow that shone like an emerald and circled the throne of the one who sat there. An emerald is green and symbolizes life. The emerald rainbow around God's throne likely indicates that his promise of eternal life is guaranteed. Green is a very lively color, not so dull as blue or purple, and yet most easy to the sight. More easy than the fiery colors of yellow and red. It is the color of all the grass, herbs, and trees, and growth of the earth, and therefore fitly denotes life, flourishing, prosperity, and happiness. Lord God, thank you so much for giving us another day to learn and prepare for a good life in the future. Thank you for giving us the chance to continue learning amidst the pandemic which caused many changes in our lives. Bless our parents who work hard to support us. Bless our teachers who are doing their best to inspire and guide us, especially in these trying times. Bless our country 
and the people who continue fighting to stop this pandemic. Lord, fill us with your wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Give us good memory so that we might understand and remember what we learn today. This we ask in your most precious name. Amen. You are here, moving in our midst. I worship you. I worship you. You are here, working in this place. I worship you. I worship you. We'll sing it again. You are here, moving in our midst. I worship you. I worship you. You are here working in 